Well, despite mounting the proof and evidence against the popular front of India, you have the Congress party that continues to play the part of an apologist. Now, Karnataka Congress in charge says that they will not ban the PFI. And that is Casey Venugopal, uh, the Congress Karnataka in charge, uh, says that there is no question of banning the PFI. Let me bring in Deepak on this. Deepak, now this is uh, big as far as uh, that actually comes to light. What exactly the Congress High Command is thinking when uh, you have uh, thoughts on the PFI and the so-called uh, uh, partnership that they were talking about before the Karnataka Assembly uh, elections take place? Deepak. No, that the yes, please go ahead. This this summer it has established a soft corner, doesn't it, that the Congress has for the PFI and its political outfit, the FTPI. Now, as we have been talking about, PFI has been considered largely as a byproduct of a banned radical outfit, uh, the SIMI. And today, uh, the, the PFI has a political wing, the SCPI, and there have been talks of an alliance with the Congress in the upcoming polls. And now when the state in charge of the Congress himself comes out and says that he, he, he he's uh, not going to consider banning the PFI, it just shows the intent of the Congress government is clearly not to control uh, elements which could be a threat to the society, especially when you have topmost investigative agencies like the NIA, which files a charge sheet and calls several acts where uh, in, in people of the PFR are involved as acts of terror. Now, yes. despite all of this evidence being there, not just in the state of Karnataka and other parts of the country as well, uh, it's, it's quite surprising here that the state in charge makes such an outrageous statement. Absolutely. Deepak, stay on with us. Executive Editor Vivek Narayan